Championship, and welcome to the reality of wrestling. We have an incredible show for you this week on the Blue Label of Sports Entertainment. My name is Brad Gilmore, and this week we have a major number one contenders match. We're going to see the returning. We saw her last week. She is back again. The Renaissance woman, Hai Yun, is going to take on Promise Braxton, and that is going to be a number one one contenders match for the Reality Wrestling Diamond Division Championship. We're also going to see the return of the Savage King. And in our main event, the former, the now former Reality Wrestling Champion, Brian Keith, the Lone Ranger of the Rose, going to be taking on one of the pillars of this industry, one of the pillars of this company, Gino. Gino, Brian Keith is in your main event. The question is, is Brian Keith going to be 100% after that match that he had with Ruthless Ryan Davison? We're going to have to find out. We're going to see in our main event tonight. All that and more on the reality of wrestling. And here we are starting off our Diamond Division action this week on the reality of wrestling. And there she is, the Renaissance woman, Hyun. Hyun just made a return here at the reality of wrestling most recently, and she battled. Rachel Rose to a victory, mind you. So now, this week, she has a shot at getting back what she still feels is always been hers. That's the Reality Wrestling Diamonds of the Championship. She's gonna have to go through what is really one of the most impressive uh, debut of the year that promised Braxton. Is confident, a little different, but I gotta admit, I like it. Here comes Promise Braxton. Promise Braxton just kind of burst onto the scene here in reality of wrestling. I know that sounds cliche, but it's really apt and an apt description of what we saw from her. We saw her earlier this year at the Ladies Night Out series and then making her debut over the reality of wrestling roster. And now here she is going to get a number one contenders match against one of the very best in the history of the Diamond Division, that is High Young. The winner of this contest will meet Roxy for that time. As confident as Promise Braxton seems to be, and she should be because she is very impressive, I think that in the back of her mind, she is welcoming this challenge from High Young. There it is, our opening bell from Isaac Bouillon of these two women start to circle one another inside the reality wrestling ring. Well, smack talk never hurt nobody. But I think Promise Braxton is welcoming this opportunity. Promise Braxton knows if I can beat High Yun, I think I can beat Roxy and I can be the new face of this division here at the reality wrestling. Little mind game there by the crafty veteran. A bow and a curtsy to the limited studio audience invited in the World Gym Arena. Socially distanced, of course. Oh, beautiful right there. The Promise Braxton, a fan of her own work. Going for it again and she hits it again. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful by Promise Braxton. You can tell that High Yun is really feeling those shots, but I think that what Promise is doing right here is a, a bad, bad strategy. She needs not to pay attention to the audience who's in the building. She needs to pay attention to that woman right there. Look at the strength. Look at the strength of Promise Braxton. Promise Braxton dropping a one knee after that big scoop, scoop and a slam and she is talking to that Reality of Wrestling Nation again. Holding her hand up almost signifying that I set the standard here. But now Hai Yun giving her a taste of it herself. Beautiful right there. Look at that. Just mirroring what Promise Braxton did, but had no problem scoop and slamming. It did not take a whole lot of physical exertion for the Renaissance woman. Oh! Copay to the outside, went through the middle rope. It promised Braxton looked like dome to dome there. And throwing Promise Braxton back in. Oh, big back elbow there by High Yard, roll through. We've seen her do this so, so many times. This is when she'd really get into her bag, some, some high knees, high knees from High Yard. And boom, beautiful picture, perfect drop kick right 
on the button. Cover one, two, and a kick out right there. Promise Braxton though registering everything that Hyun has been giving her for the last two and a half minutes about. It's been all Hyun. Offense, 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 offense. And you can see that cardio that Hyun has been talking about online. You see that she's always talking about getting her cardio up. You see that that is coming into play in this contest, even in the early goings. We're just a couple minutes in, but Hyun's gas tank still on full. Promise Braxton moving out of the way. The last second, look at this beautiful German suplex. Wow. I have not seen that from her arsenal. Cover one, two, and a kick out. Promise Braxton might be new, but she thinks she has the movements and the thought process of a veteran. She saw that she got high Yun down with that German suplex, and now she's putting the boots to her. She's going to go to work now. Now Promise Braxton is going to get high Yun right where she wants her. Oh. And Promise now just putting the boot to that neck of high Yun. Referee started the count. Didn't last long, but maybe just be enough to slow down that offensive tear that the Renaissance woman was on. Snapmare takeover. Bounce against the ropes. Oh, beautiful right there. Drop kick. And now Promise Braxton. Promise Braxton starting to cook. One, two. I think Promise knew that she wasn't going to get the three count there. She just wanted to pin her to let her know, hey, I'm here. Oh, counter there by, oh, look at that. Beautiful counter there by Hai Yun. A forearm, spins around, a big chop to the chest. Wow, I felt that one. Oh, wow, beautiful Lariat. Beautiful Lariat, you see the smile on the face of the Renaissance woman. Trying to get back into this one. Fireman's carry position, what is she gonna do? What is she gonna do with Promise Braxton? Oh, look at that, just throws her right down center of the mat. And a beautiful leg drop. Cover one, two, kick out there. And high on, we've seen this happen in the past. When she isn't getting the result that she wants, and that result being a three, a lot of times you, she wears that emotion on her face. She's showing the, the physical, not the physical, but the mental effects of the physicality. And look at that, Promise Braxton just holding on to the ankle of high on. Uh, further frustrating and annoying, the Renaissance woman and now getting the advantage on her, going for that knee. This is beautiful right to the back of the head, spinning heel kick. Oh! Bicycle kick to the bottom of the grill, cover with both legs, one, two. Wow, thought that could have been three right there, and so did Promise Braxton. Promise Braxton almost thought that was her called shot. And now she's almost reaching up to the heavens. Ayon with a counter and another ooh, series of forearms. Forearms to the side of the face, to the left side of the jaw. But Promise Braxton and catches her with that lifting knee into the rib cage. That'll knock the wind out of you, at least momentarily. And so will this. Hyun looking for a big suplex. Oh no, just hangs her up there on the top rope. She's going up. Oh man! Look at that knocking. Promise Braxton all the way outside in front of the commentary table. But the only issue is you cannot win the match from out there. Hyun needs to go get Promise get her back inside the ring so she can get the three count and be the new number one contender for that Diamond Division Championship. It would mean so much for the Renaissance woman to be gone for the majority of 2020, come back, win two matches in a row, build that momentum, and then be able to get Roxy. But right now, Hyun is having difficulty getting Promise Braxton, who looks like she is dead weight back in the ring, and here's the thing, referee gets to a 10 count. I don't know if we can officially have a number one contender that way, Hai Yun knows that. She rolls under the bottom rope, breaks up the count, referee has to start over as she tries to get Promise Braxton back inside of the ring. And she finally does. She finally gets her back inside the squared circle, and now Hai Yun 
under the middle runway. Oh, look, cover one, two, three. Did she get her? Did she get her? She did. She did. Thomas Braxton. Wow, out of obscurity. Out of obscurity. She has just been the Renaissance woman. Ayun having to use a lot of physical exertion to lift up the seemingly dead weight of Promise Braxton, but I think Promise was playing possum all along. Wow. A big victory for Promise Braxton here at the Reality of Wrestling. She might be singing with the rest of the Braxton family with jubilation, because she is now the number one contender for that Reality of Wrestling. Diamond Division Championship, and we will see her meet Rock C in the near future. Thomas Brett, your winner at our opening contest this week of the Reality of Wrestling. Pro Nation, I'm Ashley Bull here with Zach Mason. Earlier this week, you tweeted out that you had a big announcement for us on this episode. Are you ready to share that with us? Well, yes, Ashley, I do have an interesting bit of news to share with you and the world right here, right now. You see, me and the boss man, Booker T, we've been in talks here lately in the last couple of weeks. And he's starting to recognize all the hard work that I've been putting in. Out here steady grinding week after week. So he's decided that I've earned my shot. And he's declared me the new number one contender for the Reality of Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. So next week, I'm cashing in, baby. I'm challenging Ryan Davidson. And you see, Ryan Davidson, he goes by many names. He's the bear from Bel Air. He's ruthless. He's got the Davidson drip. Well, come next week, the Davidson drip ain't going to include the Reality of Wrestling Heavyweight title. And we continue the action here this week on the Reality of Wrestling. There comes Dion Johnson. We've seen Dion. He's been a Reality of Wrestling mainstay for a lot of time. Long time, excuse me. And he makes his comeback in the World Gym Arena this week on the row. But I'm afraid that he's pulled the short straw in the back because he is going against Royal. Not just any royalty. There he is, undefeated. Never been pinned. Never been submitted. Never been counted out. Never been disqualified. The only thing he has ever been is a winner here at the Reality of Wrestling. He is the Savage King. Slow, methodical, rotten, powerful, undeniable, unstoppable. Savage kick. Look at that scared our cameraman there. We have seen the Savage King now for months. Come in here, beat somebody up, do it impressively, do it quickly, walk out with the win, never utter one word. There we go, the opening bell, and look at the body language there of the Savage King. Oh, beautifully timed shot. Side headlock there. Deion Johnson bounce against the ropes. Oh, big shoulder. Knocking him right down, but Deion Johnson getting right back up. Savage King with that thousand yard stare. He almost stares a hole right through your body. Going for a collar and elbow tie up, but Deion Johnson ducks it. Waist lock, Savage King reverses. Now he's got him in that same position. Show of strength there by Deion Johnson. Now the Savage King is, well, seemingly in a precarious position. Not a desirable one, but he's firing up and look at that. Oh my goodness. Referee needs to look at that. Those look like some close fist. Deion Johnson swinging for the fences. Does it once, does it twice. Blocked by Savage King, blocked by him again. Oh. And finally gets a shot off. Doesn't even look like Savage King felt it. Oh, Savage King. Savage King just headbutted a fist and a beautiful suplex. A beautiful Savage suplex. I have never seen somebody block a straight right hand with their head until I saw the Savage King just do it. Oh, and a big knife edge chop. 
I'll tell you what, I don't know if there's been anybody outside of the title picture who's been more impressive. Look at that body avalanche. One, two. Kick it after two. I don't know if there's been anybody outside of the title picture who has been as impressive as the Savage King. You gotta think that maybe, just maybe, some sort of championship opportunity could be in his future if he continues to impress this way. I mean, how could it not? Knife edge chop again to Dion Johnson. And Dion, although he had some showing showings of offense early on, after Savage King blocked a knockout blow with his head, it was been all downhill for Dion Johnson. But just as I say that, he starts to fire back up. Savage King is not going to let him back into this. Sometimes I wonder if the referee should just have the understanding, wherewithal, and know-how to just stop the matches that the Savage King finds himself in. Look at the strength. Look at the strength of the King. And look at the face of Deion Johnson. What is he doing here? Deion, headbutt of his own. Gets out of the way. Fires up again. Lefts and rights. Lefts and rights. Oh, Savage King off the middle rope. The diving lariat. And now, looking around, as if he is signaling the end of this. Cover one. Oh, only a one count. Not exactly sure what Savage King was thinking, taking time. But nevertheless, still in the driver's seat when it comes to this match. Still, Deion Johnson has had limited offense. And still, Savage King. Wait, hold on. What is Savage King doing here? He said he wants everything. Oh! Going for that senton, he missed. Deion Johnson, beautiful trap suplex. Over the head. Savage King looks a little perplexed. Oh! Savage King showing some effects of this contest. Maybe the most he's been challenged ever. Grabs onto that top rope, trying to prevent any further offense from Deion Johnson, able to hold on just enough. Deion didn't have the power. Oh, look at that! Look at that! A legolas big boot. A legolas-like big boot there now. Savage King's gonna, gonna try to choke him out. The referee's trying to stop it. I think this is... Hold on, the referee cannot get control of the Savage King. Well, that was it. The referee called a stop to the action almost instantly. I talked about him having the wherewithal understanding and know-how to just stop it, and he did. The Savage King savagely gets another win here at the Reality of Wrestling. For over 13 years, the King of Solar Screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circle? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55, $55. Any size, any color, install free. The King of Solar Screens, on time, every time. Now, can you dig that, sucker? And up next, our main event, the former Reality of Wrestling champion, Ryan Keith, makes his return to in-ring competition, but this time he faces a man who has held that illustrious championship on three separate occasions. He goes against the man that they call the Latin heartthrob. He goes against Gino in our main event, and it is right now. And it is now time for our main event this evening on the Reality of Wrestling, a man who is no stranger to that main event, the Latin heartthrob, the former Reality of Wrestling champion, Gina. He says it right there on his shirt, untouchable. And that is how Gino has been here at Reality Wrestling for the most part. 
He has had a roller coaster ride to the top with very few dips, twists, or turns. Sure, he has lost that reality wrestling championship on three separate occasions, but he's also gone back up to the mountaintop. And he's broken records. He's proved people on the Just That's real nice. Real nice there, G. Nevertheless, attitude aside, inside the squared circle, this man is aces. Second generation performer, the son of Mexican wrestling legend El Sangrenario. Vino, the Vino. reality wrestling tonight he is the now former champion after losing to the bear ryan davidson in our first ever drive up event here outside of the world gym arena in our main event you did see it ryan keith fell victim to the bear he got all he lost his championship and now he's already back in action so quickly thereafter after a match where we seemingly thought that he may have been seriously injured there toward the end Ryan Keith cannot be anywhere close to 90%, let alone 100% getting inside the ring with somebody who you need to be 110% to have an opportunity against. But if anybody can prove us wrong, it is the Lone Ranger of the rope, Ryan Keith. I wonder though the mentality of a man who climbed to the top, had one of the longest reigns in reality wrestling history as the champion, now being the champion no more. And losing it, the first event we've had with a pretty good size portion of the reality wrestling nation, be it in a drive up event or not. Brian Keith felt the pressure that night. I spoke to him earlier that night. He said he wants to prove that he belongs as the reality of wrestling champion. That is something that he has kept with him since he won the championship in late 2019. He felt the need to continue to prove himself. He never wanted to rest on his laurels. Then he went out there, he did not get the job done. You gotta think, that is weighing on the conscience of the Lone Ranger this evening. I wanna talk about somebody who took their quarantine time to their benefit. Gino has never looked better. He's never looked leaner. He's never looked more physically dominant than he does right now. You have to remember this man walked into the gym at the Reality Wrestling Arena when he was just 16 years of age. He won that championship in his early 20s and he is still in his early 20s. Gino has been a cornerstone though at this company. But now you see him in the likes of MLW performing all around this country, performing Mexico, and now Brian Keith though. Brian Keith, you see the look on his face, taking it. Oh, look at that, beautiful leg sweep there by Gino. Gino's getting him tied up early on. Brian Keith trying to find that rope, switches out. The Lone Ranger stands tall. Referee Isaac Bouillon starting his count, telling Gino to get back in here, and you know, Brian Keith has to be thinking that I need to win this match tonight. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. I have to win. I have to win. I have to win to get back in the title picture. Here at Reality Wrestling, there's not automatic rematch clauses. You, you lose, you're to the back of the line. And the number one contender will arise. The next guy will be there. And Brian Keith wants to make sure the next guy is him. Because he feels like he has some unfinished business inside this ring. Call an elbow tie up, Gino. Look at that, beautiful. Just grabbing the, grabbing Brian Keith around the neck. And a front face lock right here. Brian Keith goes down to one knee. 
When we talk about is Brian Keith 100% sure he's showing it physically here in the early goings. As this match progresses, look at that nice single leg takedown by Gino. Gino going right back to that left knee of, of Brian Keith. And now side headlock there on the mat. Beautiful wrestling. Brian Keith reversal. But I was saying Brian Keith in the early goings, yes, he looks physically fit. He looks like he's ready to go. I'm showing no signs of weakness coming out of his last match. But we are still in the early goings here. With these two guys' resumes, this match could go all night long. And as this match progresses, as the fatigue sets in, as the, the breaths get deeper by Brian Keith, can he find it in himself? To battle back against a fresh Gino. Oh, wow, look at that. Brian Keith, quickest kicks in the south for a reason. Going for it again. Gino had it scouted. Gino rolls through. Leapfrog. Brian Keith. Brian Keith, a drop kick. Drop kick quick, out of nowhere, right to the lower gut of Gino. Beautiful work there by the former champion. Brian Keith has held two championships in his illustrious career here at Reality Wrestling, the Television Championship and the Reality Wrestling Championship, of course, one of the longest reigning of the latter. Gino, fireman's carry position. Oh, just Brian Keith able to shift his weight and then Gino greets him with a forearm to the face. And now, it looked like he was trying to send him into the pole, but <laughs> Brian Keith using the step ladder that our cameramen used to get a good angle Rounds up it and now finds himself on the top rope and a beautiful drop kick in a Gino to the outside. Brian Keith, the lone ranger of the row, now finding his footing and he's in the driver's seat. But wait a minute though, look at that. Those ribs, those ribs that were damaged in the match with Ryan Davidson. Those ribs that were seemingly broken or at least cracked at the very least. Coming into play. Anybody who's ever had Fractured ribs, cracked ribs, broken ribs, or bruised ribs. Know how hard it is to fire up. Know how hard it is to take that deep breath I was talking about when we get in the later goings. But Brian Keith looking for a rodeo. He's looking for a rodeo DDT. Gino had scouted and just holds him up, hangs him up on that top rope, which is just steel under it. One, two. Ah, okay, lots happening. Let's break this down. Gino, by throwing Brian Keith in a beautiful counter over that top rope, which is a steel cable encased by piping. He has just further damaged those already predisposed ribs. Of Brian Keith and now a kick to the back. A kick to the back, the spine. One. Oh. Stepping on the hands of Brian Keith. That's a mental game Gino's playing. Gino's got his left arm wrapped up behind him, and now pulling back on the on the neck and the chin of Brian Keith. Making it all that much more hard for him to breathe, and now pulling back on the neck that expands that rib cage, and that is putting pressure all across his torso, which is making that those breaths again harder, and then look at that. Oh, oh man. That left leg wrapped around the front side of the rib cage of Brian Keith and Gino just opening and closing his leg like a pair of scissors cutting. Oh man, cutting Brian Keith. That big overhand chop slowing Gino down and Gino said, I'm tired of that. I'm give up on that and just stepping right back on the hand. Chops to the chest. And you see Brian Keith registering every single one of them. Kicks to the side of the head, no disrespect. No respect, excuse me, shown by the former champion. Brian Keith, though, finally getting some offense in. Oh. Gino's so quick. Man, Gino's so quick. Always impressive the way that he finds his ways in and out of different positions here inside the squared circle. And now he's trying to use that bottom rope for leverage to get Brian Keith up and over. Oh. Excuse me for Brian Keith to get Gino up and over. And look at that. Shades of the Mexican wrestling legend Eddie Guerrero right here from the great state of Texas. One, two, kick out after two on the back. 
the spine pop of Brian Keith. You know, always trying to weaken you. See, and look at that. Those, the, see, we didn't see it before. Those ribs were exposed. Those ribs were taped up. And now Gino, look at that. Gino's trying to tie Brian Keith into the corner with his bandaging from his bruised ribs. And now, look at that. That's just despicable. That is just despicable. I helped copy on. I don't know, inadvertently spitting in our referee's face. And while he had his back to Brian Keith, trying to argue with the referee, kicking Brian in the ribs repeatedly as the referee's telling him to stop. Speaking of that, we talked about it in the Savage King match. I'm thinking that Isaac Bouillon might just need to step in and stop this one so Brian Keith can live to fight another day. Pulling back. Look at that. Referee count one, two, three. Now Gino, almost taking a break. He knows that he is in the driver's seat. He knows that this is this is this is exactly where he wants Brian Keith to be, and he feels very comfortable in his position. Brian Keith, though, oh, looking for that side effect. Gino able to counter it. No, but Brian Keith hits it there. Brian Keith hits it there. Cover one, two, and a kick out by Gino. Wow. Brian Keith had to dig deep to hit that. And he was able to get the job done. But he wasn't able to get the three count. Oh, go for that side kick. Gino almost counters it a schoolboy. Now he gets a kick to the side of the head on his own. Gonna hit that scarlet letter. Jumping in Zagiri for the former reality of wrestling champion. And is that enough time for him to buy himself a brief? For him to take a break? For him to get his mind back mentally? To get his body back physically? So he can finish off the Latin heartthrob and be one step closer to fighting the bear for that Reality Wrestling Championship referee up to a count of six. Brian Keith getting back up to one knee, saying he needs a cowboy up, signaling for that Rodeo DDT. But Gino. Gino, oh, Snake Eyes in the corner, rolls through. Oh, God, that lifting knee into the rib cage of Brian Keith. Now those ribs have to be broken. Scarlet letter, scarlet letter. It's all academic at this point. One, two, three. whoa, 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 whoa. Brian Keith just kicked out of the scarlet letter. It's not the first time that's ever happened. But it's a rare occasion. It's like Haley's Comet in reality of wrestling for someone to kick out of the Scarlet Letter. And that just shows you the heart, the will, the determination, the passion Brian Keith has. But was that the right move for his future? Could he just not live to fight another day and chalk this one up as an L as he tries to counter out of Gino? And he does. Beautiful back suplex. Now, Brian Keith is relying on the energy of the, of the inhabitants of the Reality Wrestling World Gym Arena. Can they get him back into this match? Rodeo DDT, oh, Brian Keith. His ribs just eating that beautiful kick there by Gino. Oh, and a rodeo, what a rodeo. A rodeo by Brian Keith. Brian Keith finding a way, finding a way. Turn over, Brian. Just get a cover. Get a cover, Brian. He gets the arm over one, two. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Gino gets the job done out of a reversal, no less. Gino defeats the former reality of wrestling champion, Brian Keith. Now Brian Keith taking two rails in a row. Obviously was not 100% coming into this match. Gino knew it. Gino exposed his weakness, and it got him to victory. He is still untouchable, is Gino. The real story here now, congratulations to Gino on a hard-fought victory, although by some deceptive means at times. The story is Brian Keith. Brian Keith now laying there. But the reality is setting in. He is not the champion. He just took a loss in the Reality Wrestling main event. His ribs 
most likely broken. What is the future of the Lone Ranger of the Rough? We'll have to find out.